He already has a record of child abuse. Today, he received the maximum sentence for his latest crime, sexually assaulting a little girl for years. We first told you about Santos Vigil last fall after he asked a judge for visitation with his son, despite a long history of hurting children. As our Dylan Collier explains in this Defenders update, Vigil's visitation request, now the least of his concerns. <laughs> Over there. And you're trying to get visitation my face. with that. Santos V. Hill left court in late October, calling the KSAT 12 defenders clowns. He left court this morning in handcuffs. V. Hill took his chances, pleading no contest to aggravated sexual assault of a child, a case built on accusations that he engaged in a sexual relationship with his wife's daughter beginning when she was just nine years old, leaving it in the hands of Judge Jefferson Moore to decide a punishment ranging from 25 years in prison to probation. With extra security brought in, V. Hill's mother testified in court that her son had moved on from a criminal history in Michigan that included multiple child abuse allegations and eventually one conviction for the crime and had traded a life of violence for that of a hardworking dad. He always comes home with pictures and they look happy together. Judge Moore was not swayed. Not you guilty, sir citing court records in which V. Hill actually said that the child had pursued a sexual relationship with him, Moore handed down the maximum sentence allowed. I sent you to 25 years in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. Emotionally wrecked spectators at the hearing listened as the victim and her mother described how much damage V. Hill had done. Santos, there are no words. For the if and when V. Hill is released from prison, he'll then have to register as a sex offender for the rest of his life. Outside the Bear County Justice Center, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News.